Radio. Welcome to another exciting episode of Coffee and Radio. I am Heartthrob Rob, and today we are watching Jersey Shore Family Vacation Season 4, Episode 15. Um, hello, 2021. Uh, the bio here reads, The gang is back together and big changes are in the air. Polly D has a new look. Vinny is looking for a new home. And when social media explodes with, a, with rumors about the demise of Angelina and Chris's marriage, Mike takes on a new alter ego. This is the season back? This is what you guys thought was going to work? Really? I've been watching Jersey Shore since 2009 when this shit started. Last season wasn't that great, man. This season opener... This is your opener? Dude, this episode sucked. I fucking got ready. We got blunted. We had fucking wings out. We were getting it going, dude. This episode sucked. This is such a letdown. Like, I love these people. I love this cast. I've grown up with them. I'm the same age as Vinny. But maybe they were meant for the club and partying. And COVID is just not working to their, you know, and they can grow. They can grow as people. And they have grown. But, you know, COVID is not helping them. Their family life is not entertaining to me. I'm not laughing, rolling, partying to to them baking fucking cookies, bro. They're baking cookies in this episode. That's like one of the segments on here. Today is like June 5th or 6th or something like that, right? June 5th. Dude, I understand there's like timing. Obviously, these take about six months for them to produce and get the whole thing going. I don't feel like watching Christmas stuff uh, the first week of June. I'm thinking about summer, and here they are in this Christmas vibe, and everyone's got Christmas going, and it's just, it doesn't work for me, it doesn't fit, I, I just thought this episode was not good at all, the second half of last season really sucked, they really stretch out the apology here, but I mean, right off the back, I, I mean, the girls, uh, JWoww and Dina go and help uh, Angelina just to go hang out, and they haven't seen him in a while, and Angelina's talking about how her marriage life just doesn't exist, and her and Chris aren't fucking like that. Uh, even though they just got married like less than two years ago, probably a year ago ish by the time this is going right, maybe a year and a half, maybe. Um, and they're just talking, and they're just you know, life isn't so great for them. Or, you know, so I don't know. Uh, next, Ronnie and Vinny go searching for a house. Vinny doesn't want to do the bi coastal thing, so he just wants to move straight to L.A. And Ronnie helps him out, and he found this really nice house, but. The pool is about this fucking big, you know, and they're just kind of ragging on them. I thought it was a nice house, and I'm sure you're not going to have huge pool parties, but, bro, for, like, how much money you're about to put down, like, you better get that that medium-sized jacuzzi upgraded, bro. Um, next, everybody has, like, a Zoom call and hangs out, and Chris and Angelina are super awkward, and they're talking about how he's, you know, stayed home or, you know, stayed at his mom's house six nights. Uh, you know, he's almost damn near moved out. And it's just like, why do you even marry these people if you're going to fucking not even be with them? They're just so weird. Um, plastic surgery is still really showing on some of these girls. I love them to death, but you're so beautiful. Why keep pushing more and more into you? You're already beautiful. Um, you know, there's rumor. Chris wants to get his tattoo off of the hamster. We, he might get that off. It's just super awkward between them. Uh, they bake fucking cookies for forever. And they got, like, this cookie thing going on. I'm just not into it at all. It's children. It's just super boring. And then um, in the end here, you know, there's more rumors about Chris and Angelina. And they don't know what's going to happen. Even on that call, it's super rocky. They build, they make cookies for each other. And um, towards the end here, oh, and Mike and um, Lauren are finding out the baby's uh, gender soon within the week. So I'm sure that's going to be coming up. And then... At the end, we have Vinny, and he's got, or excuse me, Paulie D, and he's got, like, silver hair going on. He's Cisco'd out a little bit, and he gets down on one knee and asks Nikki to, you know, to be his chick, or he gets down on one knee and gives her a ring, that's for sure. So we'll have to see it on next week. I don't like that they gave, like, a preview of this, this season. They started off, too, with this season on Jersey Shore, and they show you everything. Bro, let me be excited when that shit happens. I was not excited when seeing it all. I'm like, okay, well, I've seen the whole fucking season then. Just, I couldn't have, I just didn't think this episode was formatted great. The stuff they were doing was fucking not, like, fun to watch. I'm thoroughly disappointed with the past few, like, ten episodes, you know? And this is just another letdown. I love this show, but goddamn, this is so horrible. Um, yeah, let me know what you guys think, man. We'll talk about it in the comments. I've got to watch something else to get this horrible taste out of my mouth. I love this show, but goddamn it. Let me know what you guys think, man. We'll talk about it in the comments. Am I hating on the show? Was it slow for you? 
Where's all my Jersey Shore fans at? Where's all my Double Shot of Love fans at? I got a whole crew of you on YouTube, man. Let's party. Let's talk about it. Let me know what you guys think. We'll talk about it in the comments. Make sure you like and subscribe. And if you like what you're watching, then hop in the coffin. Follow us on social media at Coffin Radio. Coffin is spelled a K. And that's all for today. Hey,